again and welcome back to my new crochet along. Um, the design that we're carrying on with today is called Alicia's Rose Garden and it's worked in double knit yarn with a 5mm hook. Uh, the next part that I'm going to show you today we did up to the squared off um, in the previous video. So today's video I'm going to show the next few rows and then we'll carry on on a, another video for the next part. The next row that we're going to do is using the begonia colour. It's um, like a, a pale rust but it blends really well with the cinnamon from Mariner's. Going to start again as before with a slip knot onto the hook and I'm going to start again in a corner. I do like to start in a different corner each time because then you've not got all of the tails of yarn in one place. They'll be in various places and it looks neater, um, the actual finished item. So we're going to start with a standing double in the corner. So we've slip knot onto the hook, yarn over into the corner space, pick up a loop, yarn over through two and yarn over through two. We're going to do two doubles. So there we've got the two. One chain in the corner. If we've got doubles in the corner, there's only one chain. If it's a single in the corner, we do two between the two stitches. So another two doubles into that corner space. We're now going to skip this first stitch and I'm going to do a long puff stitch. A long puff stitch is a little bit different in that we don't pull through all of the loops as we've done the stitch. We actually pull through all but one and then yarn over and finish the stitch off. So I'll show you what I mean. So yarn over we're skipping this one into this stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over into the stitch, pull up a loop. That's twice. Yarn over into the stitch and pull up a loop. We're now going to yarn over and instead of going through the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches, we're only going to go through these first six. So that you've still got two stitches on the hook. Yarn over again and pull through. Chain one and then we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to do exactly the same into the next stitch after the one that we've just skipped. So into the stitch pick up a loop one, yarn over, pick up a stitch, a, a loop, yarn over and pick up a loop. And then yarn over, pull through all except this last one and then yarn over and through those two. Chain one, skip a stitch and then we're going to do exactly the same again. So we've yarn over once, pull up a loop twice, pull up a loop three times, yarn over, pull through the first stitches but leave that one, yarn over and through those. Chain one and we just carry on all the way along one, two and three and the chain one in between. Skip a stitch and do the same again. One, two and three chain one. It just makes a longer puff stitch that it's not quite as short and fat as a regular um, puff stitch.
not forgetting that each puff stitch has got a chain in between and come to the last one one two and three yarn over pull through and then the, through the two loops I'm going to chain one and then we're into the corner stitch here so we're going to just catch the tails of yarn as well I'm going to do two doubles into that corner stitch into the corner space one chain and another two doubles and then it's exactly the same along this next side that we're going to work in alternate stitches working the long puff stitch i'll work the next one along and then we'll meet at the end if you want to pause the video so the first one we skip this first stitch we're not going to do a chain after the corner we do a chain on the one before but not on the one after the corner one two and three and a chain one and then skip the next stitch and work the puff stitch into the next single So we're keeping the corners and working along with the puff stitches all the way along. Skipping a stitch in between each one. I'll also be doing the design in a left-handed version if anybody needs that. Right, the last one again on this side chain one and then we're going to skip the last stitch and work the two doubles one chain and the two doubles again into that corner so there we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven puff stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Hang on a second, I've done that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've only got ten on that one, just bear with me a second. And we'll work the last puff stitch to keep all the sides oops, to keep all the sides equal. And then we go into the corner stitch for the two, two doubles followed by a chain one and two doubles in the corner. And we're going to skip the first stitch and start again with the puff stitches along the third side. So if you want to carry on in exactly the same way working every other stitch is going to have a puff stitch we'll have 11 puff stitches on each side with the two doubles 
chain one and the two doubles in each of the corners and I'll meet you when we get round to the end of this row and I've come all the way around uh, your work might be looking a little bit frilly at the moment but it will straighten out once we get a little bit further along so the last puff stitch one two and three and then chain one and we're going to join into the first stitch of that first corner with a slip stitch slip off the yarn and pull through so there we've got the row of puff stitches so that completes row seven the next row is again we're going to start in the corner I'm using white for this row and we're going to join into the corner space again with two oops two doubles and I'm using a standing double if you prefer to use a chain you can just work a chain three and again I've gone into a different corner to the corner that I finished off last time just so that we've not got all of the ends in the same corner so two doubles one chain and two doubles we're not going to work any chains in between the stitches on this row we're just going to skip these two stitches here and straight into the one chain space we're going to work two doubles and then straight on to the next chain space and again we're just going to work two doubles in each of the spaces and you just do that all the way along to the end once we reach the end of this side again we'll just go into the corner chain space and work two doubles with one chain and then another two doubles to form the next corner oops and i've got the final two doubles of the side and then we're going to move across to this corner space catching the yarn tails as we go and work two doubles chain one and another two doubles in that chain space and then straight over and skip the first two stitches into the first space before the puff stitch and work two chain and then work two sorry two doubles and then work two doubles in each one chain space all the way along So I'll carry on, I'll pause the video and work the rest of this row round and I'll see when we get round to the end. It's just two doubles in each chain space all the way along and then two doubles, one chain and two doubles in each of the corners and I'll catch you at the end of the row. I worked all the way round. Uh, with the two doubles in each of the chain spaces you should have uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve um two double crochets all the way along that doesn't include the two um 
the two doubles, the chain and the two doubles in the corners. Once you've got round all the way around to the other side, we're going to join into the top of that first stitch with a slip stitch, snip off the yarn, pull it through and fasten off. The next row is single crochets and we're going to use the yellow that we used on the outer of this centerpiece here. So slip knot onto the hook and work in the corner chain space here. We're going to single crochet, chain two and another single crochet into that same stitch. Again, we're going to skip that first stitch there and we're going to work one single in each stitch all the way to the end. Quite an easy and simple one, this one. So just work in one single into the top of each of the doubles from the row before and then in the corners we've got the one single but two chains and then a single and that's the same for each side So singles all the way along. I'm going to catch the tails of the yarn there on these last two stitches. Just pull that out of the way there. And then we're into the corner where we're going to work one single, two chain and one single skip that first stitch and then work singles all the way along to the next corner so you may want to pause the video and work your singles all the way around and i'll meet you when we get back to the beginning here we've got round to the beginning again where we're going to slip stitch into the stitch there pull the yarn through and pull it tight. You should have 27 singles along each side that's not including the two singles with the two chains that are in the corner stitches. So that completes row 9. Row 10 we're going to use the lemon which was, is the one that we started the design with at the very beginning. On this row, again, we're going to start in a different corner with a standing double crochet and a second one with one chain in between and then work another two doubles. This row now is a, a back post double. So we're going to come from the back to the front. We're going to yarn over in front of the stitch, pick up the loop, pull it back out, yarn over through two and yarn over through two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, we're not doing any chains in between. We're just working each stitch. So yarn over, come from behind the stitch in front of the stitch and pick up the loop, yarn over through two, and yarn over through two. We're going to work all the way along doing a back post double around every single from the previous row. So yarn over Pull the, the hook before the stitch, push it back in behind uh, after the stitch and pick up that loop, yarn forward 
uh, sorry yarn over pull through to yarn over pull through to so we get this ridge forming along on this row if you can see there and we just do that all the way along till we reach the corner and the corners are just going to be the same as the previous row where we just do the two doubles with one chain in between and then two doubles again. Let's work to the final back post double which is in the corner single from the row before and then we're just going to work two doubles into that corner chain one and then another two doubles into the same stitch and then this time we don't skip this first stitch we do a back post double around that stitch and again the same all the way along the row to the next corner again the corner is two doubles one chain and two doubles and then just work the back post doubles around each of the singles from the previous row. So if you want to pause the video and work these back post doubles all the way along, two doubles, one chain, two doubles in the corner and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'll come all the way around with the back post doubles doing the final one here and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch snip off the yarn pull the loop through and fasten off the next row is a V stitch row it's quite a straightforward one and we're going to start again this time I'm using a green because I do want it to have the look of a leaf so we're going to start in a different corner to where we've just finished off again it's the two doubles in the corner I'm using a standing double but you can do the three chain chain one and two doubles we're now going to skip two stitches which in this case are the two stitches from the corner and we're going to work a V stitch into this next stitch so it's a double one chain and another double into that same stitch and then we're going to skip two stitches and do exactly the same in the next one so we've got one double one chain one double in the same stitch and you can see there it's forming the V skip two stitches and work the V stitch and we're going to do this all the way along this side skipping two work a V and then skip two skip two, work the V stitch and skip two into the third stitch, work a V and just carry on all the way along the side Oops. Skip two stitches, work the V, and then we're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and work the final, oops, V stitch. And then into the corner, chain stitch here between the two 
we're going to work two doubles, one chain and two more doubles. So again we're going to skip the two stitches here and start with the V stitches along this next side. So we're working one V stitch, skip two stitches and work a V stitch. Skip two stitches and a V. We're just going to work this all the way around. All four sides are going to be exactly the same. So if you want to pause the video and work your row of V stitches, I'll meet you when we reach the end of the row. Just going to mention that on this, on each side, the very last V stitch will fall into the second of the two doubles of the corner stitch. And then we go on to do the two doubles, chain one and two doubles. Skip two and then we start again on the final side. Just to be sure that you've got the right amount, we should have the two doubles in the corners and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven V stitches on each side. That doesn't include the two doubles, chain one and two doubles in each corner. Just in case you want it to check that you've got the right amount of stitches. And then the final V stitch into that last stitch there. And then we're going to join, as always, with the slip stitch, snip off the yarn and pull through. So now we've completed row 11. I'll stop this video at this point and we'll start with the flowers on the next one. I'm going to try and keep the videos to around about 30 minutes uh, for each part. But you can see as well that the, the whole square is now flattening out as well, that we've got no ripples um, in. As I said, it, it would pull itself straight and flat. So I hope you've enjoyed this part of the tutorial and I hope to see you again for the next part. Thank you for watching. Bye.